A lot of older, expensive homes here, apartments. But there's also some more affordable ones, more into the middle part. This is the main, the main road. from when I was here. Um, some of it still looks the same. A lot of the beach shops are the same. Some of the hotels are the same. Some of the restaurants. This is that UFO place that we saw in the video. Um, and this is the crab place that we saw in the video that you wanted to eat at. People are kind of crazy being at the beach today. It's not cold, but it is cool. You probably wouldn't like it very much.
It used to be a hospital. I think it's where my mother was born and my uncle, and it's converted into businesses. It's like a almost like a mall type thing. So this is a main road, it's a Publix, the Beast Hill. No, that wasn't here when I was here. I think that used to be a school if I remember right. So this is <clears throat> the main the main road. Um, there's some businesses, uh, a lot of little small businesses. So it would be interesting. It's a baseball team, you get to watch some baseball. <clears throat> during the summertime. Uh, I guess that's a seafood place. I don't remember that. And coming up is Joe Patty's where you wanted to go see. So it's... There's some older homes here too that I think would be probably a good area to think about buying because it'll be a little bit more affordable. Um, and the neighborhood used to be really bad, but they, they cleaned it up a lot. That's Joe Patty's right there on the water where all the seafood is that you wanted to see. So over in this area, that it used to be a really bad area and nobody wanted to live here, but then when they built the baseball field, People started coming in and buying the old homes and fixing them up, <clears throat> but um, it's supposedly it's safer. Um, I'd have to check on that, but I think if we were to potentially look in this area, we might be able to get an older home to fix up. Some businesses. And then I'll be going over here to uh, the base. I'll stop into the the new job and say hello to the new boss, and then um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go out to the beach, depending upon if they can do something with my driver's license. And like I said, there's lots of older homes that we could get that the neighborhoods are starting to kind of come back, and we could get one probably a little more affordable in this area and fix it up really nice and it's kind of close to everything it's kind of near the downtown it's about 10 minutes from the mall uh, maybe 15 at the most and then it's about 10 minutes from the base the, over this bridge is the base this bridge for the base it's got a little uh, inlet it's kind of nice and then there's some homes over in this neighborhood that are a little more affordable as well <coughs> but it's close to the base and it's about halfway to the mall. So some of these neighborhoods we could probably find a more affordable home depending upon if it's a good neighborhood or not. Some of these areas. This is Warrington, and it is okay to maybe go shopping or something, or maybe go to a quick restaurant. But it has a reputation for having problems, and I probably wouldn't want to live over here. It's really old. So this is the Warrington area. As you can see, everything is just kind of old and run down, and nothing was ever kept up here, and a lot of. A lot of problems in this area, uh, I guess a lot of drugs in this area, so Warrington to me looks the same as it did before. And this is uh, some of the old neighborhoods uh, that are near the base, as you can see they're a little bit older, I see bars in the windows, um, there were problems here, I heard that there are a couple spots they're fixing up, 
That's what Jonathan was telling me, but some of the areas are still have problems. And this is, if I keep going straight, I'm going to be at the base. And as you can see, it's an older part of town. Now, some of these homes would probably be okay. Uh, I think some of the military people have started uh, buying up some of these properties, is what Jonathan was saying. So the neighborhoods are improving. And it's very close to the base. And again, I think that <clears throat> if we were interested, we could probably get a home. See, they're fixing up a bunch of them over here. They're cleaning them out. The bay, the bridge in front of the base. Now that's the base you can see over there. It's like a harbor. Those are some neighborhoods over there that we can look at right across the water from the base. But I think it would be worth looking at. The way they're near the water and um, probably more affordable. Um, so this is the base. i got to put it down. Okay, this is uh, on base. Just went through the gate. Uh, it's a golf course. This is kind of big. Uh, see people out playing golf. Um, over here is some of the base housing. You can see them kind of back there a little bit. So they're kind of small. Apartments, basically. <clears throat> the apartments, uh, I'm not too crazy about them because they're really small. Uh, this is the military cemetery for uh, people killed in the military and or uh, people who retired and then they passed away. Coming up here, um, it's the swimmer school. Back over there is where I would be working. I'm gonna do a quick thing by the bay here. Let you take a latency look. And you can see the cadets out there. So when I went to school here, for one of my schools that I had to attend, I had, we had to have to run this area here, and then I think that's the gym, it's newer, well it's about 10 years old I guess, and then you got the clinic, which is back there, and uh, I'm trying to remember. So these are some of the older original homes on the base. Um, I don't know if unlisted can be in the, these or not. I My dad lived here many, 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 many years ago when I was a baby. Okay, over here is the hotel on base. It's a super old building. Home. I don't know if any of them would be anything that we could get into. I would have to ask. Um, but it's a, it's a nice little family type neighborhood on base. Um, I know there's like multiple families that live in those, but most of the housing on base, this base is kind of small. the daycare center on the base at least it used to be I think this is the bridge from Pensacola to Gulf Breeze Bicycles and jogging path. The bridge is three miles, so you can do a three mile run. Or bike. 
closed them all. Cross street from the hospital. <clears throat> and the mall is decent sized. And we got a red lobster, which you like. But so some new restaurants that weren't here when I was here before. Okay, now this is the college where I used to go to college, across the street from the mall. <clears throat> so it's a big, it's a, a decent sized university now. There's a little shopping center across the street from it. So everything is real close to the mall. some homes and apartments close to the mall. Uh, this is still the college area. That's the airport across the street. And we'll go this way. And I'll let you see a couple of the little homes. More homes. Some of these are okay. Um, <clears throat> kind of close to the mall area. Some small businesses. Lots of small businesses here. Just lots. lots. Is the hotels at the Pensacola Airport? I think there's two or three of them. I don't remember. Two. It's a medical place now. But that's the airport entrance. This is really close to the mall. There's uh, some more businesses and some restaurants, I think, if I remember right. Yeah, a couple of restaurants near the mall. And then there's uh, the neighborhoods off of 12th Avenue. There's a lot of area uh, that I think you were looking at more businesses. Some more neighborhoods uh, are coming up soon. So this is another uh, unique area with a lot of businesses, a lot of older places, and there's a bunch of rich millionaire homes. This is a civic center where they do uh, bands come play and stuff like that. <clears throat> and going downtown, uh, more to the water area. These homes are million dollar homes. These are million dollar homes near the water. There's a, a memorial park for the veterans over here that's pretty nice. This area is just all oh, rich people. We can't afford to live there. We couldn't even rent, I don't think. But the bay is right here. This is coming up on it. So this is across the street from all these rich million dollar homes. And I think you've seen some of this on the video. <coughs> This is about 10 minutes from the mall, maybe, with driving. But it's a unique area, a lot of interesting things to look at, kind of a laid back atmosphere. And uh, this is the street that showed where all the people walk. Um, coming up here in just a second. Traffic here is really slow. <clears throat> so 
that's the street that everybody walks down at night. And that's the other part that goes to the water. Um, I'm going to head over here a couple of neighborhoods near the base. And then i got to check to see if they have been able to process the, the ID. <clears throat> but there's a baseball field uh, for a team that plays here in Pensacola. They're, they're like So it'd be interesting. It's a baseball team. You get to watch some baseball <clears throat> during the summertime. Uh, I guess that's a seafood place. I don't remember that. And coming up is Joe Patty's, where you wanted to go see. some older homes here too that I think would be probably a good area to think about buying because they'll be a little bit more affordable um, and the neighborhood used to be really bad but they, they cleaned it up a lot. That's Joe Patty's right there on the water where all the seafood is that you wanted to see so, over in this area that it used to be a really bad area and nobody wanted to live here but then when they built the baseball field People started coming in and buying the old homes and fixing them up, <clears throat> but um, it's supposedly it's safer. Um, I'd have to check on that, but I think if we were to potentially look in this area, we might be able to get an older home to fix up. Some businesses, and then I'll be going over here to uh, the base. I'll stop into the, the new job and say hello to the new boss and then um, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to have time to go out to the beach depending upon if they can do something with my driver's license. This bridge for the base, it's got a little uh, inlet, it's kind of nice and then there's some homes over in this neighborhood that are a little more affordable as well. <clears throat> It's close to the base and it's about halfway to the mall. So some of these neighborhoods we can probably find a more affordable home depending upon if it's a good neighborhood or not. And like I said, there's lots of older homes that we could get that the neighborhoods are starting to kind of come back and we could get one probably a little more affordable in this area and fix it up really nice and it's kind of close to everything it's kind of near the downtown it's about 10 minutes from the mall uh, maybe 15 at the most and then it's about 10 minutes from the base the, over this bridge is the base Some of these areas, this is Warrington, and it is okay to maybe go shopping or something, or maybe go to a quick restaurant, but it has a reputation for having problems, and I probably wouldn't want to live over here. It's really old. So this is the Warrington area. As you can see, everything is just kind of old and run down, and nothing was ever kept up here, and a lot of... Uh, a lot of problems in this area, uh, I guess a lot of drugs in this area, so Warrington to me looks the same as it did before. Okay, this is Scenic Highway, it's a long road. This is Scenic Highway going towards downtown Pensacola in the mall area. There's a lot 
lot of older big homes here. Homes over here probably a lot more expensive in this area. As you can see they're older and big. Bluffs, at least they used to. The graveyard where my mother's mother is buried and my mom and dad's first baby is buried at that funeral place. Scenic Guides is a very long road and River Scenic Boulevard, whatever it's called, Scenic Highway. It's at Scenic Highway, and it's about, I don't know, 8 or 10 miles long in total. Super slow on it, as you can see the bay. But we'll get closer to East Hill here soon. A lot of apartments in this area. Good location, uh, like I say, a lot of older homes. <clears throat> a lot of that style home that you can see. A lot of these more historic type homes um, that are, well, some of them are 100 years old, 150 years old. 
and there's a little park. Uh, there's a couple little parks like that in this basic area. Um, some of the areas here has crime, some of it has improved. Um, so this is the area that I lived in for a few years with a had a buddy of mine that had a house right up here on the left and I helped him fix it up. <clears throat> so this kind of gray colored house is the one that uh, he had and we painted all that stuff white and they painted it like a gray color. But this is the area that I lived in for a few years. Now we're going to go to 9th Avenue, the main. 9th Avenue is one of the main roads through Pensacola and going this direction. The mall is up here. And when you get closer to the mall, it takes some more, some more videos. The traffic is going to be a little thicker in this, a little heavier in this area. <coughs> Amber, you play baseball at you know the college level, whatever it is. But all of us who have played any level of sports understand that when a game is over, so there's a lot of older homes like that, and this is one of the areas that what's off Ninth Avenue, not far from East Hill, where um, want to probably avoid um, some of the worst neighborhoods are over on this side, and there's a couple on the other side. So this is the other part of 9th Avenue, some of the homes there are a little bit better condition. Uh, I don't really know where the crime area starts and stops on that side. Uh, there's some apartments, so this area is probably not the, the best, but we're getting closer to the mall and I'll show you a video in a second here about just a little bit of Okay, so now uh, we are getting closer to the mall. There's another Publix. Uh, that was, a, I think, an Albertsons when I was here before. Um, there's a hospital up on the left. This is the mall. Cross street from the hospital. Sized. Uh, we got a red lobster, which you like. But, so, 